Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of the Utopian Conclave, weekly wisdom and insights. Today we're going to be taking a look at the social experience within Utopia Game. My name is David C and I am very excited to talk about this particular uh, part of the game because it's one of the most important aspects of the game overall. Because at the end of the day, Utopia is a team game. There's 25 members in a kingdom, and without the complete cohesion and teamwork of all of those members, it can be very difficult to be successful when, in terms of you know, being uh, top kingdoms competing against another team of 25 players. Uh, if you don't have all 25 members on the same page, ready to go, and it doesn't mean that everybody has to be online at the same time, it just means that we have a good method of communication, uh, a good medium of, you know, getting intel to others, you know, uh, understanding what our role is within the kingdom, and all sorts of other great uh, avenues of, of just communicating with everybody. Now, there are some things right within the game that uh, help us communicate with everybody, and that's one of the things that I'm going to take a look at first. So why don't we dive right into Utopia. Uh, I have here... A, you know, so this is my province within uh, the Kingdom of 1-1. So uh, there's a couple things I can show you here. Uh, and very simply, how do we communicate with our kingdom? You know, why is it so important? I have my, of course, of course we're ticking now. Uh, so I have my province here, which is one of 25 possible in my kingdom. And of course, I can play the game however I like, however I choose. That's one of the, you know, fun parts about Utopia is that even being such a uh, an important aspect of, of the, the, the game overall being a team game, uh, you still have a lot of uh, personal uh, utility and uniqueness in creating your province and uh, and doing the things that you enjoy within the game. And so if, if, if I can just do whatever I want, why is it so important for me to communicate with the rest of my kingdom? Uh, and you know, it starts off with, as a new player, there's a lot of complexity to how the game works. And for you to learn that on your own could take a quite a long time. Now, there are obviously great tools uh, available to you, uh, including the wiki and, uh, you know, just most importantly, I would say that if you're going to learn the game, the easiest way to learn the game is from other players. Especially those players that have, you know, either played for a long time, have a lot of valid experience, or have done uh, great things within the game. You know, players that have been uh, leading kingdoms, players that have uh, led successful kingdoms either to, you know, winning crowns or just competing at some of the highest levels. Uh, these are, you know, these are players that uh, can provide experience and, and information to you that, not that you can't get anywhere else, but... Uh, a lot of the personal experiences that a lot of players have in terms of creating strategy and developing uh, plans and preparation for conflicts and things like that, those are some of the things that you might not find in guides or the wiki or you know other things like that. Uh, and so being able to learn from your kingdom can be one of the most powerful aspects of you know the learning of Utopia. And if you want to enjoy the game, to it, its full potential, you definitely have to take advantage of the uh, communication right within the game. So there's uh, some very simple ways to communicate with your kingdom members. Uh, first of all, it's, you know, who is in my kingdom? And, and you can go to your kingdom page, see how many players are in your kingdom and, uh, you know, their sizes, networks, and, you know, all this stuff. Uh, we can look at uh, sending direct messages to our kingdom mates and... Uh, that's probably going to be the easiest way, and this is the most important thing that I would recommend for anybody that is uh, joining a kingdom, especially all new players, uh, taking a look at uh, sending a direct message. Now, uh, in this particular kingdom, I am the monarch, so I can uh, send a, a message to the entire kingdom. And so, uh, how are you? Can you help me? So, uh, of course, as a monarch, I wouldn't send this message. But as a new player, if I didn't know what I was doing and I just signed up, I would definitely want to send this to my my monarch. And uh, as a regular member, the uh, monarch should display separately, you know, uh, distinctly within the list here. Uh, so you send out this message. 
And now everybody in that kingdom gets it because, well, I have the ability to send messages to the whole kingdom. If I didn't want to do that, you know, you can just send a direct message. This is the easiest way to get your uh, communication across to somebody in the kingdom. There's also the kingdom forum. So as you come to the kingdom forum, uh, as a uh, new player or as any player, you can create uh, forum topics. Um, usually when I start, uh, when, when I started a long time ago, starting an age, brand new age, uh, merging with other kingdoms, merging with other players. The most important thing is to introduce yourself, you know, having a, a welcome thread, introducing yourself, um, and, you know, getting to know everybody. So you get into your kingdom forum, you've got a, a welcome thread and introductions. Uh, as leaders who are probably going to join in the kingdom, they'll put together some information on uh, outside forums and, and, and third-party tools. Now, I don't want to discourage anybody from utilizing third-party tools. You don't have to. Uh, it's not a requirement to play the game. And one of the things that we've done as the developers is integrate some of these um, mediums of communication directly into the game. So while uh, you obviously have the direct message possibility here uh, to send, you know, individual messages, private messages to, to players or as a monarch to communicate to your entire kingdom uh, all at once. You have the forum, which uh, allows you to put out general orders or just, uh, you know, like I said, introductions, welcomes, um, basic ideas of, of who the kingdom is, who the regular players are, especially as we're coming close to, the, to an end of an age. Uh, players can reserve to stay in their kingdom. And as we start the new kingdom, you're going to want to get some of the basic things in your forum so that new players uh, have a place to go and take a look at that. Uh, as a monarch, you obviously have the ability to uh, put, you know, regular messages in here. Uh, you know, you'd have a link there. Check out our forums for more information. So, you know, uh, there's... Lots of ways to communicate now that uh, message from our Monarch display is right here. So uh, obviously this is going to be where you're going to find a lot of the most important information from uh, your kingdom leadership so that they can tell new players where to go, what to do, uh, areas to see certain information and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so this is, this is my uh, development environment, so I don't have all of the utilities here, but I do want to jump back into my, uh, my Utopia province, which as we see here, we've got all the same stuff. Mail, forum, when you are in a war, you'll get another forum called the War Forum. I highly encourage utilizing this to everybody, simply because it allows you to meet other players within other kingdoms, especially if uh, you are a whether a smaller kingdom or a kingdom with a lot of inactives or uh, you know you're try, just trying to find a new place you can utilize the war forum to you know meet other meet other players and interact with other kingdoms uh, not just you know through the game through actions like uh, you know attacking and, and your sorcery and your thievery and, and other operations like that uh, you you have the human element of communicating with them and uh, either developing friendships or rivalries or all the great things that really make Utopia great. And so, uh, but one of the other things, like I mentioned, uh, Discord, right? In our in our Monarch message, our, our Monarch gave us a Discord link to join in. Well, you know, maybe I don't really want to join Discord. Maybe I don't use Discord. You don't have to. Uh, there are certain ways for the Monarch to create a, uh, obviously, if they have their Discord server, what they're going to do is, uh, is um, integrate some of that into the game and uh, by doing that that allows this message box right up here when you type in this message box up here number one you can see the other online players within your kingdom uh, right here if there are other players online, it would list who they are. You know, obviously you can change the size of this. You can get rid of, you know, some of this stuff uh, as it looks uh, like Tom has uh, has joined us here. Maybe he'll start uh, uh, communicating with me, help me out a little bit, uh, teach me teach me some of the ropes here. Uh, but what this does allow you to do is not only see who else is online in your kingdom, it allows you to directly communicate with them within the game. And as I mentioned, if your monarch or leadership has set up their Discord uh, server to communicate with this here now you have the opportunity there is no 
uh, there you have the further opportunity to communicate from a third party application like Discord to players within the game through a very specific chat room right here. And uh, now I'm not going to go into how to set that up. That's probably a little bit more of a more advanced uh, section here that would dedicate you know a little bit more time to doing that. Uh, there are some other videos on how to set up your Discord server, how to link your Discord server within uh, the game here. So we're not going to get into that today, but just understand that there is a way to get this chat room to go right to your Discord server so that you can communicate through Discord, you know, a third party app on your phone, uh, get notifications when people are typing here. This is one of the most important things that I usually did uh, when I was, you know, creating kingdoms and helping new players get get, uh, get along, especially in the early days of when, uh, you know, uh, Muga took over Utopia, uh, when we did get this implemented in there, because it allowed me to, you know, have these notifications on my phone so that I'm not always logged into the game but anytime somebody typed in this message box, I would get a notification on my phone seeing that somebody new was in the kingdom, uh, somebody needed help or somebody was talking, and I could communicate directly to that person in game through a third party application such as Discord. Uh, so this is just one avenue there. Uh, so there are other aspects to this that we're not gonna go into here today, uh, being today you know, the social aspect and, and communication with your team and things like that. So being able to communicate directly with uh, your team through this channel here is is wonderful. Uh, one of the other things that I do want to you know get into very quickly is uh, what are some of the things that we offer for leadership? You know, leadership can be one of the most difficult aspects of the game, and uh, being able to basically command uh, to 24 other players, you know, what are we going to do? What is our plan? How are we going to execute that? Can be very difficult, especially if you have only a single chat room here. And so creating your own Discord server is going to be something that uh, you should definitely look into doing if you haven't done that already. Uh, one of the things that uh, I took upon myself uh, several years ago, it was to create a template server for leadership to just, you know, be able to turn, you know, turnkey solution so that, you know, instantly you have a server set up that will handle all of the bot information, uh, all of the different aspects of, of what would be a good uh, base to start from in building your own Discord server. So I want to take a quick look at that here today. And uh, let me just make sure we're good over here. Okay. So uh, I'd like to take a quick look at that here right now to show you what I'm specifically talking about and where you can find it so that you can take advantage of this as well. And so uh, I've posted in our announcements channel um, a link and uh, I'll, I'll pin this so that everybody has access to it easily in the future if anybody's ever looking for it. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to, you know, take a look at Discord here. And so uh, here's my Discord. I've got some of it, uh, most of it um, hidden for privacy reasons. But what we're going to look at right now is this announcement message that I just posted. We have here this uh, Utopia Game Kingdom private Discord server template. So if we click this uh, view template here, and everybody should be able to do this. Uh, you can create your own server. What it's going to do is create an automatic, uh, it's going to you know, build a Discord server for you. Now, before we do this, it's also, it's really easy to create your own server uh, on on your own without anything. Uh, it's usually, let me just see where I am here. Uh, it's it's down at the bottom here, over to the, to the very left of your servers. At the very bottom uh, left of your Discord, there's a plus button. Click that plus button and you have the ability to create your own server. I am going to show you right now a templated server, which is going to have uh, roles, channels, permissions, all the basics set up for you uh, to you know, begin bringing players in. And uh, so let's just take a quick look. Uh, I'm going to create this here. So we've got uh, David Kanata server, obviously name it whatever you want. You have the ability to upload uh, an icon and all kinds of other stuff. It starts you out. Now, uh, let me just take you through some of the stuff that I've set up here for you. Uh, now, this is uh, just reminiscent of uh, my days on, on uh, IRC, where you had, you know, public channels for your kingdom and uh, private channels for your kingdom that, you know, only, you know, your kingdom members had access to, and then, you know, alumni stuff, all kinds of fun things. And so I tried to integrate that into my Discord server here. Uh, so what we see here, the welcome verification room. Now, what this is going to do is anybody who joins this server 
from that link, you know, usually the Monarch message is going to have that link in your forums. You'll have a link to join your Kingdom server. Anybody who joins the server, I don't want anybody who joins the server to just see everything and, and all the private channels and all that stuff. Uh, we need to, you know, properly, you know, vet who is this person, what are they doing here, how they get the link, and, and all kinds of other stuff. So that's what the welcome verification channel is. Anybody who joins this, they can't see any of the history. They and, and these are some of the settings that you can, you know, play with, you know, once you get more uh, fluent with what Discord is and how to use it. But ultimately, you know, I don't want anybody who joins this server to be able to see who else has joined the server or who else might have talked before or what people said. So when you join this particular channel, you can't see anything. I would get a notification, I would see somebody joined, and now I can, you know, talk to them here and see who they are, what province are they in-game, and uh, different things like that. Now, I do want to just uh, mention very briefly, I'm going into some of these details here with Discord. Uh, we are uh, in the process of implementing some very, very uh, powerful communication tools and uh, and things that monarchs and leaders are going to be able to take advantage of uh, that will help with the creation of your, uh, not the creation of your Discord server, uh, but to allow the, the linking of your server to your in-game, you know, the bots and all the things that you're going to be able to take advantage of as a leader of a kingdom. It's going to make it much, much easier for you to uh, just coordinate uh, the setup, uh, especially the initial setup, which can be some kind, can sometimes be burdensome uh, in the beginning of an age uh, when you've got new players and old players leaving and, and different things like that. So uh, we are trying to streamline that process to make it very simple. Uh, as it is now, most you basically have to reset up everything at the start of every age, and it can become difficult, especially for new players who have to fumble through it the first time, and then the next time, it uh, it can be a challenge. We understand that. We are working on uh, on that. And uh, But for now, I do want to just go through some of this stuff. So uh, this welcome channel, new people come in. I get a chance to talk to them. Who are they? What province are they running? And, uh, you know, the like. Once... Uh, I've decided, you know, okay, this person is is a member. We're going to bring them in. We're going to get them into our private area. Uh, the private area is, you know, this section over here, obviously titled member private area. Uh, there are certain roles that you can provide to uh, provide to people. And uh, in this particular server, I've got, you know, admins, which I'm not going to give to anybody other than, you know, somebody else that I want to be able to basically close down the server if they wanted to, which, um, you know, probably only your trusted leadership there. Uh, but we've got leadership roles, we've got member roles, and then, you know, various um, attacker, you know, um, road, you know, different personality types that might be in the game to give you an idea of what, what you can do here to create groups uh, so that you can tag people. Like if you needed intel and you couldn't get intel on somebody, you'd want to tag maybe a rogue because they usually have higher TPAs and, and other stuff, which allows them to get their intel much easier. Um, mentors, if you needed somebody to mentor you, you could just tag a mentor and find out who can take care of you. If you've got to go, you're going to sleep, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, alumni, so public. So the public, again, the public is just bringing me back to my IRC days where uh, I want to have an opportunity to bring people into my server that don't play in the kingdom and shouldn't be able to see my private area, but they still want to interact with, you know, my group, my team, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, so you've got all these different roles here. So I would give, you know, if I knew they were in my kingdom and uh, should be here, I give them the member role. And now all of a sudden they're going to have access to this private member area. They'll be able to see the rules. And as you can see, as we get down into some of these other channels, it'll tell you which roles have the ability to see and interact within this channel. Uh, you can uh, get into you know, server settings and, and, and look at the different permissions, what they can do and what they can't do. But uh, to keep it simple here today, uh, you, you've got uh, the, the member rules. Now, I believe the way I, I set this up, the only people who can write in here are admins. Um, members i don't believe can write in this channel but they can view the channel so this allows you to set you know a basic standard uh, of rules you know uh, be respectful be polite uh, tell us when you're going to be going away for any extended period of time you know these types of things that you as a leader might want your members uh to know uh current age i set this up this way because as i progressed through you know multiple ages especially on genesis which they were when they were very quick uh, we wanted to keep the the chat separate from you know this between this age and last age. So I I'd, I'd usually archive archive this by just adding the the age number at the end of the channel and creating a new one with the same permissions and all that stuff. So that uh, the next age uh, players 
could start fresh with a new age. And if I ever wanted to go back and look at chat, what had happened in, you know, age, you know, 94, I could go back and see everything that we talked about in age 94 only and, and not have to scroll through, you know, billions of lines of text to find, you know, what did we talk about back then? So we've got this channel, uh, obviously only uh, viewable by by members and, and the admin, you know, all these all these other channels are currently set up specifically for the existing bot, how it is, which allows you to separate uh, different bot messages that come from in-game uh, to areas. You know, typically I use, you know, the bot spam channel to, um, if, if I was just looking as a leader, if I was looking for all kinds of information about my kingdom, other kingdoms, I go into the bot spam channel and just put out all kinds of commands that would get me information. Other people could look at it, but most of the time I would have, you know, this channel muted because I didn't want to get bothered by all the other people that were just typing random messages, uh, looking for information, just trying to, you know, figure that stuff out. Uh, but ultimately, all these different channels have a different purpose and role uh, within the bot. So that might be a bit more advanced for some of the uh, leadership. But once you get this linked to the bot and set up, uh, all these specific messages come to just this channel so that we can keep the current, you know, this one channel for uh, messaging back and forth, you know, what's going on, uh, what are our plans today, you know, what are we doing, how should I respond to this hit that I took or, you know, other things of that nature. Uh, I, I've got an alumni channel here that uh, members can't see, you know, as uh, as ages progress and, and players leave the kingdom but want to stay part of the group, right, they can, they can chat in here. Um, and then, of course, we've got our leadership section down here where uh, only members of the leadership team, you know, again, getting that special, uh, one of those special roles, the leadership role, uh, would allow me access to see this and uh, be able to discuss with other leaders about, uh, you know, what are our plans, who are we going to war, uh, what are we going to do, and who's going to be our first target. You know, all these different things that leaders do uh, that doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, just spammed to the rest of, of the kingdom. Uh, obviously, so there's a couple voice channels. Uh, and then, of course, your public channel up here uh, available to basically everybody, including pe members of the public. So uh, if somebody joined my my kingdom channel that didn't that didn't deserve, you know, a member role, they weren't an, an alumni or anything like that, but they wanted to just chat to, you know, us in general or, or to see what was going on, I'd give them the public uh, public role there. Uh, so this is, uh, again, a template. It's it's capable of anybody is capable of using it. Uh, just take a look at that uh, that link in the uh, announcement here. Uh, able to use, you know, you know, click this view template button, uh, build it. It's it's a good base to start from if you want to add more. So obviously, you know, once you, once you create it, it's your server. There's no restrictions on it. Uh, you can you know obviously share it with anybody, do anything you want to it, uh, and and whatever you like. Uh, it was one of those things that. Uh, especially new leaders or uh, people just not familiar with Discord, don't know how to set anything up. Uh, it allows you to, you know, get started with something very basic and uh, very brief so that you can uh, get started. Uh, so that's Discord in a nutshell. Uh, and one of those, so what I would use, what I typically did, and let me just go find myself over again. What I typically did was this, uh, this current age main chat area. Uh, so what I would do as the leader of the kingdom, I would link that to my uh, chat right up here. And now anybody in the kingdom that doesn't have Discord or people that are on Discord and not in game can chat with each other, uh, see what's going on, what are we doing today, you know, what's happening, did somebody get attacked, you know, all these things can be communicated from Discord into the game through this chat box right up here. Uh, now, if you wanted to uh, have a different chat room linked to that, by all means, you know that's uh, obviously up to you. Um, it all depended on you know what what kingdom I was in and, uh, and and what we were looking to do. You know, when I again when I was actively recruiting new new players and new members, if I had a lot of open spots. I would want to keep this particular chat area open and clean so that when a new player came in and they started talking, I would get those notifications no matter what. Uh, so creating a different, a separate, uh, a separate channel other than this current age main chat, you know, you could, you know, create a new channel specifically for, um, 
uh, you know, Utopia Public Chat. So whatever you want to call it, you create the chat room, and now I would link this to my in-game chat room there through the bot. And again, that's something that the Monarch or leadership is going to be able to do. And now I can spe set special permissions and notifications for this channel for myself so that anytime somebody talks in that room, I get notifications on my phone and I can start communicating with them right away. Uh, so utilizing some of these features that we've built right into the game so that you can uh, communicate with your kingdom uh, directly and uh, specifically. So uh, that is a brief rundown on all the different communication methods and, and various things that make uh, the, the sh social aspect of the game uh, really you know, intertwined within that. Uh, it's, it, it's hard to play the game by yourself. Uh, obviously you can if that's what you enjoy doing. Finding a kingdom that is going to allow you to just play by yourself without the other king without the rest of the, of the team members uh, may be challenging. But, uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of kingdoms out there that uh, just want, you know, players to have fun and do their thing. And uh, if that's for you, then uh, find a kingdom that'll help, that'll allow you to do that. And the way to do that is talk to your kingdom members, uh, communicate with them uh, by, you know, using the direct, uh, direct message, direct mail, uh, go to the forums. Uh, introduce yourself, let them know who you are, what you're, uh, what you're planning, what you're up to. And uh, if it's the right place for you, they'll welcome you. If it's not the right place for you, uh, they can certainly help you find uh, most, most kingdoms and most players are willing to help you uh, find a good place to play because uh, it's not something that people enjoy, you know, uh, removing players from their kingdom. The best part about Utopia is really the social aspect of it. Uh, it's what I think brings together uh, the, the the player base as it is now and uh, moving forward the social aspect of the game is one of the most important parts of the game uh, overall uh, it allowed me especially as a, a as a young uh, as a young kid when I first started playing uh, Utopia in my high school uh, years it connected me with people around the world and uh, it was something that I that I would have never otherwise been able to do it allowed me to create friendships and uh, build relationships with people in you know different countries across the world and uh, it was really an, an amazing experience and it's really what helps utopia stay so um, so active and involved and uh, exciting uh, because you know there, there's a lot of different uh, things that we just don't get to experience ourselves in in our everyday life uh, and building relationships with these other players uh, building a team creating that cohesive coordination in order to do something you know whether it's uh, make coordinated attacks uh, win a war uh, or you know just uh, you know whatever your your game plan is for the age being able to communicate and and uh, and you know, build that uh, aspect of camaraderie and, uh, and and teamwork and team play together uh, Getting to know your mentors, uh, one of the other features that uh, we've implemented to allow uh, a much more casual uh, play style so that you don't have to be, you know, setting alarms in the morning and, uh, and waking up in the middle of the night to send an army out. Uh, making friendships with, uh, with players in the kingdom, uh, allowing somebody in the, on, on another side of the world to mentor you while you're sleeping, while they're sleeping, you know, creates that... Uh, uh, those friendships that will will literally last a lifetime. I've been friends with people now for, uh, I mean, I started playing in, uh, and I believe 1999. Uh, so I've 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 known people for you know 25 years that uh, that we've had this these lasting friendships, and uh, it's something that is is really a, a wonderful aspect of Utopia that uh, that makes the strategy aspect so much more uh, exciting and important uh, when you can work together as a team. Uh, with all these different people. And uh, with that, uh, I am going to leave you here for today. Uh, there's there's a lot of great ways to uh, communicate with, with players uh, directly in the game. I encourage everybody, especially new, new players, uh, to utilize the direct, the in-game uh, mail, direct messages, the forums. Uh, take advantage of, you know, chatting up here with your uh, kingdom me members and, and getting involved in Discord. Uh, again, Discord, it's not a requirement. Uh, you can, you don't have to download uh, Discord and, and be, be a part of the uh, Discord server. Uh, you can still chat with your kingdom members directly through this area. And uh, 
lot more great things to come in the future as we continue to develop uh, better ways to communicate with our kingdom. So uh, I, I apologize for, for going a little bit longer here today, going over some of the important aspects of, of, of building a kingdom, building your communication, and uh, providing some of these great uh, tools like the Discord server and, and the template. If you want to use that, I encourage everybody to at least take a look at it. Uh, if you don't already have your own kingdom uh, Discord set up or you're just interested in, in learning how some of the different uh, roles and permissions and other things work, uh, it, it's, a, it's a great thing to take a look at. So, uh, once again, David C. here, uh, taking you through the social experience of the Utopia game. Uh, signing off. I will see you next time.